Tommy Laren. Yes. Why do you say that the Adidas ad erases women? I think it's pretty clear when you have a women's swimsuit and you put a man in sure. the women's swimsuit to sell to women, okay. it really feels like you think that men can do it better than women. And I'm very confused here because I thought there was generations of feminists that stood up for women mm. to get the equal treatment, to be represented. And now that same political ideology is standing up for biological men to replace women in the categories that should be meant for us, the spaces that should be meant for us. I know it feels to a lot of people like this is like faux outrage, but it's really not. This is telling young girls who are looking at Adidas, a mega brand, that they're not good enough to be a model for the brand, they're not good enough to be an athlete in their own sports, that biological men can do it better. What kind of message is that? Have you any idea why Adidas would put a hairy chested male in a women's swimsuit and call that an advertisement? Why do they do it? Unfortunately, I think it's the same thing that happened with Bud Light. I think that there are a few activists in the room in these marketing departments that have these brilliant ideas to them, and then nobody wants to say anything because they don't want to be called a name. Can you imagine sitting in a room, someone comes up with an idea like this, let's put a biological man in a swimming suit, and you're the person in the room that says, I don't know if that's a good idea. They're going to immediately label you a transphobe, a bigot, intolerant. Nobody wants to be called a name anymore, so they let this happen, whether it's good for business or not. We are are being ruled by a small minority of activists in these companies. I think you're absolutely right, Tommy. I really do. Next case. Seven sorority sisters from the University of Wyoming are suing their national chapter for allowing a transgender woman into their group. Artemis Langford wants to move into the house, the, the, the fraternity house, uh, the sorority house, this fall. The sorority sisters are suing to stop that. They say Langford makes them feel uncomfortable. By the way, Caitlyn Jenner called Langford a perverted, sexually deviant male. Uh, we want to respond to that. Yeah, so I agree with Caitlyn Jenner. I mean, this is absolutely irresponsible. You have a biological man, a 200-pound biological man, who wants to be in a sorority house with other girls. There have already been reports of him watching them undress, right, being excited at watching them undress. The problem with this has all become really sticky because you have people who are transgender or think they're transgender, and then you have people that are using the label in order to be perverts and get away with it. And I believe that's what's happening in this case. And again, back to the same conversation. What happened to the feminists when they had the Me Too movement? What happened to the consent, right? You were always supposed to listen to women, believe all women. Now these young women are saying, this makes us uncomfortable, and all of a sudden their voices don't matter? How did we get here? It's not an anti-trans movement. I don't think it is no. that. But it's, it's a questioning of, of trans in ads and trans in our society and sororities and athletics. There's an increasing questioning of what they're doing and why should they be doing this. Right, and again, it's not about being anti-trans. It's about understanding that this is a small segment of the population that has been allowed to run roughshod over the rest of the population and everybody just has to shut up about it or else be called a well, name. I don't you, think we can shut up. Would you say women, biological women in women's sports, biological men in men's sports, and that's it? Absolutely. And you that? know what? If they want to come up with their own category, that's actually fine by most people, right? This isn't about discriminating against those people and not wanting them to participate. It's about making sure that the majority of the population still has spaces that are meant for them, that are reserved for them, and have the integrity of those preserved. That's what this is about. Yes, it is. Tommy Laren, always good. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so we much. appreciate it. Good stuff. All right. I want to check those markets, please.